Good morning everybody, Stephen here. Welcome back to Cairns. I love how the one thing that everyone says about Australia is there's kangaroos everywhere. Oh. And it's true for one place. Jess's parents' backyard. We have a little bunch of friends that come every morning and it's for one reason. Oh, there's a little... Oh, I want to zoom in so I can show you guys with this little Joey. There you guys go. Good morning, everybody. Let's see if I can get you. This has been our morning every day this week, waking up to these guys. Oh, one mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Worst luck ever. We have beautiful weather this entire time. The one day we have a cool activity planned, it rains. Do you reckon I'll still be on? I don't know, do helicopters take off in this rain? Last time we came to Cairns, we did that absolutely insane helicopter ride and landed on that island in the Great Barrier Reef. Well, the same people loved our video and they've invited us back. This time we're going to do a bit of a different helicopter tour. But... Let's do it. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Steven. Nice to meet you, Johnny Steven. Steven? Yes. G'day. Nice to meet you, I'm Jess. Jess, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Alrighty guys, we have come out and landed the helicopter in the middle of nowhere. This was like a 45-minute flight out to come and see some of the oldest Aboriginal artworks that we are going to be seeing, which is on the side of a cliffside, which we saw on the way in, but now we're walking over. I wasn't expecting our day to turn out like this. Very Australian. This is very Australian. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just show you this tree. This is what you call your golden parrot tree, or known as the golden grevillea. Very delicious and sweet, sweet nectar, ridiculously sweet. Uh, honey, honey bee eaters are attracted to it, and of course native bees. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. That is so sweet! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It's a real bush delicacy, this one. I wouldn't have even known that looking at that. And um, <laughs> oh, you'll see it, you'll see the honey just dripping off it. Yeah, you can uh, smell like it. So... And um, that is cool. You can put it in water as well. Like so this a... in here? Yeah, get right down in there. Oh, lick it. Yeah. It's like really runny as well. Yeah. <laughs> Got the secrets of the wow. outback right here. I literally just ate a flower. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're currently walking above the gallery. It's just down there. This is what we saw on the way in. Archaeologists are saying it's uh, 12 to 15,000 years old. First of all, picture of the sun. Sun is the giver of life. Giving is uh, the essence to Aboriginal culture. And uh, for the bush scientists, thousands of years ago, and how, how long they lived here for, the Europeans, they're the first Australians. But we're the first nations. This is our law, this is our constitution, and this is how they communicated. Um, if you want a good season next season, this is how it's got to be. This is what you've got to do. You've got to follow, you've got to toe the line. Symbol of fertility and life. And the big kangaroo there as well. This is your main motive. You can see how this is crudely done. 
whereas this here is just beautifully done. It's crazy to see this artwork and some of this is older than the pyramids. 13 to 15,000 years some of this artwork also. Johnny was saying that this is one of the top 10. So one of 10 places to see the best rock paintings and I'd have to agree. I think this is way better than Uluru when we went there to see Ayers Rock. Like this, there's just so many paintings here and he just spent like an hour explaining everything to us. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about like Australian culture and of course all the First Nations that were here before Europeans came. I didn't expect that for today. <laughs> like some damper for the full experience that looks good <laughs> we'll see <laughs> yeah damper's not good unless it's got a nice oh, crusty bun thank so, you uh, thank you right so much thank you. this looks good yeah. honestly guys how epic is this we're right above the gallery like it's just down there. You know what's also awesome? We flew a helicopter through this. Oh. Yeah. We found a chair in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's so cool. Thanks so much. Gee, hey man, thanks. Really so appreciate it. That was yeah. such a good afternoon. Yeah, awesome. Thank man. you. Awesome. Two. Jess, can you not make friends with everyone? Yeah. She was like, you see? Alrighty, Jess. Only way out. <laughs> Okay guys, have to give a really quick shout out to these two businesses, Heli Tours, Northern Queensland for taking us out, Matt and Beck, family run business, amazing people, and also to Jaramali Rock Tours. They were just the friendliest family to show us around. So definitely go check them out, put a link in the description. But let's go on to Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome to Port Douglas everybody. We are going out with the family and we're going to go and head out onto the reef and we're going to go take Jake scuba diving for the first time, which is exciting. We're actually out here in Port Douglas because this reef is a lot more untouched than the reef in Cairns. So if you were interested in coming to see the Great Barrier Reef and you only have like one opportunity to go dive, we'll see if this is the place and I think it could be because less boats come out here. Do I like cute? Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> also interesting, so the GoPro, the GoPro 6 by itself can only go to like 6 to 8 meters. We went diving the other day in the Whit Sundays and we went like 5 meters and it was stuck up, which isn't very good, but I've gone and bought this underwater housing which can take it to 40 meters, but it means the audio is not going to be the best on it. Drinks for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
also have to give a shout out to Francesca who organized this entire trip and also because she watches the vlog and you'll see she comments on the videos Chesky's Gap Life definitely check her out because she's been amazing letting Jay come on his very first dive and of course because she watches the vlogs she put aside some ginger beer for everybody oh my god I do it Steve pop me How was your first dive? Oh, Jake! Gotta frame that one. That was honestly so much fun. We just realized that when we first ever went to scuba dive, it was on this exact boat. Well, maybe a different boat, but same company. Jess's parents took us out here to scuba dive. And now we're able to take Jake out, which is kind of cool. Jake's Jess's little brother. So it's kind of the full circle. Highly recommend coming out to Port Douglas to scuba dive. That was just breathtaking. That some of the best dives in the Great Barrier Reef we've ever done. And I think it was like three or four dives we've done out here before. But if you do do it, make sure you go with Divers Den. Being able to get Jess's family on there and the ginger beer was the extra touch. So if you do book with them, tell them Chesky sent you, not us. The next day and now I just feel like we are on holiday because we have just got an absolute storm from Jess's dad. He is the best cook ever and we keep using him. We were like, we really feel like garlic prawns, bam. He's made garlic prawns and we've been eating outside basically every day. The weather here is amazing. I can't believe this is almost winter. It's like 28 degrees. We keep taking over this pool and I want to teach mum and dad our favourite card game. Yes, but if you guys are interested, garlic bread, garlic prawns and rice and potato bake. Because I felt like potato bake so you made some which was super nice of him. If you're watching Leonard, we are playing the up and down the river game. I think everyone's on it. Hey Leonard. <laughs> hey Leonard. Hey Leonard. I've got oh my gosh, can someone Excuse please feed the diamonds? This. Oh! oh dude. No, I'm no, not, no, I'm not. Go. I saved you. Yeah. Oh, I knew I gotta go too for a reason. <laughs> Jess won! So what we've been doing most of the week is trying to blend in at Jake's University. Do I look like I'm a uni student? Just coming for my coffee? With your vlogging camera. How nice is the uni, by the way? Yeah, this is so nice. Blending in. Are we blending in? What are you studying? If someone comes up to me and goes, what are you studying right I don't now? Know, hospitality, something? I'm, I'm going to be studying a doctorate in uh, anthropology. What even is a doctorate in anthropology? I just made that up. Guys, we're back at uni. This is, is this what uni student vlogging is like? <laughs> By the way, it's now raining. Oh, Northern yeah, Queensland. So Just let it be. Uh oh. Do you reckon we're going to be able to get tickets? Sold out. We're here half an hour. How excited are you out of 1 to 100? What's it called? What are we seeing again? I keep thinking Avatar now. Out of 1 to 100 Avengers, how excited are you? I've uh, been waiting 10 years for this movie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nah, so you're kind excited. of excited. Yeah, and I've had to wait all week for this. So excited. See you guys at the end of the movie. You guys might be wondering what this little number is. David and Amanda have made their own little fly in the nest merch from our banner. <laughs> you packing? Also, I want to show you something. They put together a little photo bit from it's our, our wedding. <laughs> it's our shrine. Yeah, they, bought this in, they bought this in Mykonos when we got married. And look, this is the church that we got married in front of. Ta-da! Can you see there? That's and they cool. also wanted to show you a special book they made. Oh, let's have a look at the book. Is this from the wedding? Baby and Amanda put this together. Our European Adventure 2017 and they put together a little scrapbook inspired by flying them. That was our wedding invitation. Did we ever show them that? I don't know if we ever oh, showed them. Oh, that was the wedding invitation. And they've kept that. We've and even got flight. their flight tickets from when they went to Europe and there's them in the plane. We need to start making these. I know, they look really cool because I like how old school the book is. Mm. Like the journal. I love all That's the selfies. That's all the photos from the oh, wedding. there's the besties. 
<laughs> Beck and Paul are watching. <laughs> So when they went when they went to Europe, they stayed at a lot of Airbnbs, and this was the card that they left at all the Airbnbs, and it said, "Thank you for a lovely place to stay on our trip to attend our daughter's wedding, and your generous hospitality." Amanda and David Valentine, please visit our kids' website, <laughs> www.findthis.tv. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Jake. Jacob. Bye. Alrighty, let's go home. This is the quietest I've ever seen an airport in a long time. See you later, Cairns!